good evening all of you after a long time i am putting this particular video because many of my friends and uh, well wishers relatives they asked me to put a video about uh, closer of this ford company at uh, chennai in fact uh, they were asking me that uh, what is the reason behind uh, closing this particular industry the effect of the closure is around 4000 people those who are employed in this company are going to be unemployed directly indirectly maybe 4000 multiple by 5 members 20000 people plus other maybe the canteen person the bus driver then the shopkeepers nearby ford company all are going to become unemployed now what made the company to close this particular unit when we go back to the history of uh, ford company 1950 they closed the, the same thing 1950 they made an exit from indian industry again mid 90s maybe 94 95 due to our new economic policy they reentered okay and they started producing luxurious cars no doubt these cars are popular like uh, ford iton or you can go for ford fiesta ford endeavor there are many varieties of car manufactured by this ford company and people like it now coming to the point of closure of the industry is nothing but uh, the first reason i can cite about uh, the reduction of purchasing power of our people due to corona because this ford company made an agreement with mahindra company to manufacture uh, ford cars high end cars on 50 50 partnership they were about to plan the production of around 4 lakh cars out of which only 20% they are able to pro- produce say 80000 car and these 80000 car also uh, do not have a market the main reason is as i said purchasing power of the per- people are reduced and uh, i observed that during this covid period maybe by 2020s if you go for mid 20s maybe may june there was total complete lockdown no public transport was available no train no bus including no airways at the time those who are having some sort of work they found very difficult to move from one place to another place so maybe according to my observation do, during those period there were some demand for cars people started buying the car so that they can commute from one place to another place without any problem now the situation has little bit changed everywhere in india around 50 to 60% of the establishments are open trains are running including the express trains and uh, buses are running now there is a opening of public transport system so this may be the another reason that people they started using this public transportation and uh, those who plan to buy the cars they started postponing another important point is uh, there is inflow of low end cars like mg kia kia these cars uh, are flooded these all cars are from you know korean market japan korea and uh, they started selling at a very less price 
may be they started compromising the safety measure the safety point of view they started compromising okay so this is an another thing but ford never compromised the safety aspect those who are uh, driving the ford car they are still having last 10 to 15 years they are using the car same car when i asked about the opinion they said that this is the best car but uh, the exit is uh, maybe another reason they the ford company started investing 6000 crore in gujarat and started producing the car where they started getting huge losses ford says around 2000 crores uh, loss they suffered now this is a, an angle when we look into the economic concept economic perspective that they felt that it is uh, better to discontinue the market or in other words they may be having a plan exit from the indian industry for some time because today there is a less demand for cars due to hike in the petrol prices in economics we always say that cross elasticity of demand i used to give example to my student that best example for cross elasticity of demand is car and petrol demand for comes down when there is a rise in the petrol and diesel prices vice versa on the contrary demand for car may also increase when there is sudden fall in the price and uh, price of petrol and diesel so this particular cross elasticity of demand concept is also playing a very important role they may be having a plan come with uh, electric cars later on to manufacture electric cars so this particular exit is not taking place only in india this particular company american company ford on sapane tm the ford mustang car is considered as one of the most luxurious car people have pride owning that particular car in netflix i have seen one particular serial ford versus ferrari how these two company emerged it's a very good serial i have noticed that i have seen that from the economic perspective when we look into this particular company throughout the world they started uh, closing their plants that is the basic difference you should know about uh, tata and ford whatever loss may be there tata always look into the welfare of the employees they never look into the profit aspect only i can quote many example about uh, this particular tatas you may be aware that when mumbai has been attacked by the terrorist so many people died in the taj hotel after the renovation of taj hotel tata sons gave a very good compensation to the people those who had died in the taj hotel attack at the time tata has noticed that there is a fruit vendor selling bananas outside the taj hotel that particular cart is not there he asked his pa what about this particular banana vendor he said sir what happened during that particular shootout he died you know tata went personally to his house and handed over the compensation check to his uh, missus and stating that no doubt he was not my employee but he was outside my hotel and uh, he used to have some sort of hospitality with the foreigners whenever foreigner used to come out they used to buy bananas for, uh, from the vendor so this particular gesture you can notice that uh, how tata is having a very big heart 
this sort of uh, very big heart, uh, huge heart, you cannot uh, uh, notice from uh, these people, especially Ford, etc. Because after all, they are all Americans. And uh, I can say that uh, American always believe that the business of the business is to do business. They only concern about their business, whether it is a Ford company or whether they are protecting uh, uh, you know that Afghanistan, when they feel that uh, no, now there is no profit, there is no profit in continuing, once they come to know, they leave it, they leave the place. So, no doubt the Ford company has given assurance to the people, those who have purchased the Ford car, they said that uh, services will be given freely, services will be continued, spare parts, you will get it and all these things are there. Because previously there was a opinion that Ford cars, cars are very costly and uh, later on what happened, even each and every showroom, this Ford car company used to keep a banner stating that uh, our car and spare parts are very cheap. Do not uh, come to the conclusion about the rumours, do not draw any opinion about our spare parts, like that they used to keep notice board in every showroom. Now, what I want to say, this particular thing is going to happen not only in the car industry, because many of the industries in India throughout the world, there is less purchasing power. See, it is a simple thing that when I have 1000 rupees in my packet, then only I will go to a hotel and have some food. Because going to hotel and taking food is considered as luxury. If I am really hungry and if I am having only less money, I will cook some food in my house and eat. I will not go to a good restaurant and spend some thousand bucks enjoying the food. Now, the same situation occurs. Most of the people, especially most of the rich people, they have become the middle class and most of the middle class, they, got, they have become poor and most of the poor, you know, their condition is very pathetic. This particular thing will take at least a minimum of two years to revive. So, we will have to wait for the revival period. This revival will take at least two years. That too, when there is no third wave, when every sector is open and again there is inflow and again there is a start of all economic activities, then only this particular period of two years you can calculate. Otherwise, if it continues for an another year, then definitely there is going to be fall in the GDP fall in the other aspect per capita income, people do not have money and again the situation will come that it will take another three more years. And moreover, most of the banks they started refusing to give loan to these all items, cars, etc. Now, they do not prefer to give. So, now the seller or the producer has to pay, producer has to give loan to the customer except some Bajaj Finance and etc., some financial companies in India, they are providing loans that to which a high interest. So, this particular concept is going to spread not only from the industry like, you know, automobile industry and there is, you know, you know that there is also heavy shortage of semiconductors throughout the world. Next video, I will tell that what is semiconductor and uh, no, what is the reason of these automobile industries are closing down. Now, this particular aspect when you look into, this may have a cascading effect. Cascading effect means if you keep 100 cycle and if you kick one cycle, all the 100 cycle is going to fall. The same thing, one particular industry is going to close down, then their people become unemployed and because they are unemployed, they, you know, they, what is going to happen? They may be living in a rental house. They may leave that rental house, they may ship to their native place or their villages. The person who is getting the rent, he may not going to get the rent. 
and many shopkeepers many milk vendors depending on these people these people don't have the spending capacity so this is going to have a cascading effect not only for this automobile it may even go for textile industry it may even go for shoe industry it may even go for other food items those who are manufacturing sweets chocolate industry because the sweet chocolate etc uh, they consider it as a luxury item so this is uh, i can say as an economist economic meltdown economic slowdown wrong economic policy leads to catastrophe what happened our neighboring country sri lanka sri lanka in fact they are not telling openly but according to the statistics according to the reporters sri lanka is having a problem of food there is a food crisis in sri lanka very 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 bad situation going on in sri lanka government is in fact a patching up government say nothing you know no nothing sort of this is there in sri lanka it is only a rumor like that they say but according to me there is a food inflation in sri lanka because the main thing is sri lanka is depending on tourism 60% of the gdp comes from tourist and because of this covid situation nobody wants to go to sri lanka either they don't have money or fear of this covid no one is going so ultimately their tourism industry has come down their income has come down from 60% to 5 or 7% so now the people do not have money to buy the food the food prices are going up now if they don't check it then it is going to have a very big catastrophe in sri lanka that is why economists always say that we should not depend on only one particular sector only patlab service sector thailand vietnam cambodia these countries they are also facing the same problem even bangkok maldives these all countries they do not have any industrial infrastructure they do not have agricultural infrastructure because their agriculture has been devastated by war land mines are planted in agricultural sector especially in cambodia and vietnam thailand every 5 feet or 10 feet there is one land mine lakhs of land mines are planted in the agricultural field so nobody wants to do any agricultural work american red cross agency they brought a robo to remove the land mines they are removing every day 5000 10000 they are removing till they say that it will take another one or two years to remove all land mines that much land mines are planted in their agricultural field so their agriculture is totally gone industry nothing is there so their only source of income is from the tourist tourism so we have to look into these all aspects unless and until government come forward that's what i say that it is always government initiative play an important role so in my conclusion i can say that now it is known as a starting of dep- depressionary phase recovery will take uh, after a long time now it is in the hands of government to have more money in the packets of the people how to put more money in the packets of people by reducing the prices of essential commodities like petrol and diesel reducing the gst on essential commodities providing incentives to the workers maybe subsidizing education subsidizing health all these things you know 
to be done by the government then we can expect some sort of recovery in future thank you very much